So just really quickly before we start this video, I forgot to say it in the video, in the actual video. So I'm adding this after the fact. It's all the videos that I have on there. I'm going to put the links in the description. So go ahead and check out the full videos of those. Also, the Twisted Metal series. So apparently the series started last year in July. So it's already out on Peacock. And I just wanted to add that just because, you know, I wasn't informed yet. I don't watch too much TV, but I did see like a trailer of the Twisted Metal series last night, actually. So I just wanted to update that right now. What's up, everybody? Luigi0136 here and I'm back. Welcome back to Dadcast Games. So it's my day off. Kids are off at school. So I have a little bit of time to make this video before I have to go pick them up. Uh, what I want to get into right now is talk about the gaming news that happened this past week. Uh, the week of February 25th, 2024. Today is Thursday, February 29th. So we got a little bit of gaming news that happened this past week. And I want to just go over it a little bit. Uh, it's the end of the month. So we're going to get into March and there's going to be a lot of uh, releases happening that month. But for now, I want to talk about the news that happened this past week. First up, we have the huge announcement from the Pokemon company. They revealed their next mainline entry in the franchise. Pokemon Legends Z to A or ZA. Man, I don't even know how to say it. I don't really want to get too much into this. I'll just give you a little bit of information that I found searching the web because at the end of this video, I do want to watch the trailer. A little bit of information about Pokemon Legends Z2A from what I found on the internet. So this is going to be a sequel to the Pokemon Legends Arceus that was released in 2022. So it's going to be kind of like a, you know, open world style of gameplay. Oh man, I, I don't know. I just, it just hit me. Pokemon Legend Arceus. Like, I guess that's the official way to say it. Arceus, but I'm so used to saying Arceus, so whenever I say Arceus, it's kind of weird. How do you guys say it? Anyways, Pokemon Legends Z to A is going to be set in the Kalos region, so you're going to recognize that from the Pokemon X and Y games. Uh, if you remember, they actually did not get any DLC. Usually a lot of Pokemon games get DLCs, but not those. It's going to be taking in the past, right before the events of X and Y. And it's going to feature a new story, some new characters, some new Pokemon as well. They're also going to introduce a new game mechanic called ZA Fusion. This can allow players to fuse their Pokemon with the legendary Pokemon Zygarde to create new forms. So they're going to freaking copy Dragon Ball Z, man. Fusion. Or, you know, like, what is it? Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you fuse your monsters into stronger monsters. So I'm kind of excited to see that. It sounds kind of cool. This is a game published by Nintendo and the Pokemon Company. And I'm excited to see more of it. Hopefully they do better than the last game that came out. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which I was very disappointed in just because, you know, I'm I'm Hispanic, Latino. So I, I like to have that representation. And even though the game was took place in like uh, Spanish, Spanish speaking kind of made me feel like, yeah, you know, this is my game. But unfortunately, they messed it up and I hated that game. So hopefully they don't do that with this one and they do a really good job with it. So next we have some very sad news for the Twisted Metal fans, dude. So if you remember back in the 90s, uh, PlayStation, there used to be a game called Twisted Metal where you would like pick a car and it was just destruction, chaos. You blow up your other, the other cars, your, your friends and all that. It was a freaking awesome, fun game, but they haven't released anything in that game for a long time. So according to a report, by Kotaku, Sony has canceled the new Twisted Metal game that was in early development by Lucid Games, the studio behind Destruction All-Stars. The game was reportedly a live service title that would be in tie with the Twisted Metal TV show. Uh, actually, last night I saw a, a, like a commercial on, on TV for Twisted Metal. It was going to be kind of cool. So anyways, the cancellation was part of a massive wave of layoffs that hit several PlayStation Studios that include Insomniac, Naughty Dog, Gorilla, London Studios. So far, Sony hasn't commented on the report, but it seems like the future of Twisted Metal is uncertain at best. On a slightly brighter note, we have some good news for fans of horror games. There's going to be a new paranormal activity game that's and has been announced by Visible Games. I'm not a big fan of uh, horror games, but if you are, this is great news for you. So this paranormal activity game has been announced by Visible Games. They're the creators of the Mortuary Assistant. The game is based on 
the popular found footage film franchise and will feature a new story, new characters, new scenes. The game will use a realistic graphics engine and a dynamic sound system to create immersive and terrifying experiences. The game's not slated to come out until 2026 though, so you're gonna have to wait a while to play it. This game's gonna be published by Paramount Pictures and Lionsgate. So moving on a little bit off of that, uh, there's some updates on the esports scene i'm not big on esports i don't really watch it but if, for those of you that do watch it there's some major changes that are going to be coming in 2024 league of legends the king of esports is facing a decline in viewership and popularity in north america where the lcs has cut down the number of teams from 10 to 8 and switched to a faster paced best of one format in the regular season meanwhile rocket league the popular soccer with cars game is also undergoing some turmoil as the rlcs has reduced the number of major tournaments from three to two and the number of spots for north america and europe on the other hand some games are expanding their esports opportunities such as valorant overwatch 2 and many fighting games that are adopting open qualifiers model that allows more players to compete it's going to be interesting how the esports landscape evolves in the coming months hopefully it's for the better but if not it seems like it's kind of on a decline right now what do you think and finally we have some new releases to look forward to playing they actually released in the last couple days and here are some of the highlights so first off we have brothers a tale of two sons remake so this is a remastered version of the 2013 version of the game uh it's the acclaimed adventure game that tells the story of two brothers on a journey to save their father it released yesterday february 28th on playstation 5 Xbox Series X and S and PC. This game is published by 505 Games. Now we got a game that I've never really heard of, but it seems to be like an older game. But it came out yesterday on Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One, and that's Cook Serve Delicious. This is a frantic and fun cooking simulator that challenges you to run your own restaurant. This game is published by Vertical Gaming. And lastly on the list, this is a game that also released yesterday, February 28th, 2024. Uh, it's a game published by Lucasfilms Games and Asper Media. It is another remaster and that is Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster. This is a modernized version of the classic first person shooter that follows the exploits of Kyle Katarn, a mercenary working for the Rebel Alliance. It came out on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. What do you guys think about the games that are that released this past week? Have you gotten any of them? Have you played any of them? Let me know in the comments. All right, so this th next game that I want to talk about, I'm actually going to watch the trailer. Believe it or not, I haven't watched it. It's been out for a while already, but it's a game that actually releases today, Thursday, February 29th. Super excited for this game because I really like this series and uh, I actually had my son play the first one that came out. Um, I'm pretty sure you can see there Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. So my son is actually just finishing up Final Fantasy 7 Remake and he absolutely loves it. So when I told him that this was coming out, he's like, oh, I want to get it. So this is probably something that I'm going to go do right after I'm done with this. I got to go get a new tire because yesterday I got a flat at work. So I got to get a new tire for that. And then I'm probably going to head over to either Target or Best Buy because I need to get uh, this game. Well, I don't need it, but I want to get it. I haven't bought any of the games that released these past two months because I've been saving up, you know, my money for this one. Unfortunately, you know, as a dad, I can't buy all the games that I want right off the bat, but I do pick and choose the ones that I like. And this year, this is the first one that I'm going to decide to pick. And if you remember last year, it was actually Hogwarts Legacy. So this is going to be good. So without further ado, let's go ahead and watch the trailer. And remember, this releases today. So if you're excited for this game, go buy it now. If you already bought it, let me know how it is. Don't spoil anything, though, please. It's upon us. The reunion when worlds merge. Damn. Aaron, pray. What happened to this place? The world's ending. That's what we everyone said. We got Zack right there. Aaron. Who's dope? Aerith! Cloud! No! Cloud! 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 Oh, look at Vincent. Damn, I feel like sick. Woo! 
Ooh, look at those summons. Oh. Not on my ship. There will be consequences. Now, make us proud. She'll go far. Is that Sid? Hey, get a room, will ya? Take care of Aerith for me. Fire! Cloud, bring me the black materia. Cloud, whatever happens, I'm here for you. No! Oh, I'm getting chills. Hell yeah, dude! Woo! I'm excited for this freaking game! Ah, oh, I got the chills. Alright, here we go. I haven't seen any of this, so this is new to me. Lumio City, huh? That's it. Didn't really show any gameplay. Wait. Oh, that Mega Evolution? Mega Evolution coming back? What? That's probably what's gonna happen. Mega Evolution's coming back. Uh, they don't really show any of the graphics or anything, but I mean, I guess they're still working on it because it's coming out next year. But uh, you guys excited for that game? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait and see, man. Like I said, the last Pokemon game really disappointed me, and I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait and see. And that's about it. That's the gaming news for what was the week of February 25th, 2024. Hope to see you guys uh, next month in March to see all the freaking fun games that are coming out. So if you've been following following my channel i've been playing fallout new vegas i'm getting kind of freaking annoyed at that game so i might have to you know set it aside for a bit because it keeps crashing it's just annoying you know you're having a lot of fun with the game but then with all the crashes you kind of just like ah, screw this game you know so maybe i'll put it in the back burner finish it in the in a, in a future or something and start playing some final fantasy 7 rebirth and that's about it for the gaming news for the what was the week of february 25th 2024 hope to see you guys in march for all the games that are coming out later